Okay. Uh, hello, students. My name is Miss Emsraj. I'm going to be your English teacher. So, uh, for the second semester, you stopped your lesson at Unit 6. So, today we are going to start your lesson uh, at Unit 6. And, uh, dear parents, please help your children to study at home, to do the exercises on, their ex on the textbook and help them. Okay, today we are going to start at Unit 6, as I said. Unit 6, the title is Likes and Dislikes. So, likes and dislikes. Students, there are so many things that you like and things that you don't like. So, how can you express these likes and dislikes in English? That is our going, uh, it's going to be our main focus. So, uh, under this unit, we are going to discuss some grammatical structures and also some reading and writing pointers. So, today we are going to start, or the main objective of our lesson is for you to read the passage in your textbook and do the questions after you read the passage and also some vocabularies. What are the vocabularies that you express your likes and dislikes? So, uh, the main, the first uh, reading title is which season do you like? You know what season means, children? So, season means the environment or the seasons, uh, the, the weather that we face every day. So, there are, as you know, there are main, four main seasons. The first one is uh, autumn. This season is cool, it has a cool air. These are the vocabularies. Uh, summer, this is the hottest season. The hottest season. And spring, this is, um, it is hot. At the same time, it is also wet, wet. And the last one is going to be winter. This is very windy, or we can call it chilly, or, and also it is snowy, snowy. So, these are the four seasons that uh, so, how you are going to express your likes and dislikes about the seasons? You are going to use these vocabularies. So, uh, there is a passage. It tells you about which seasons do you like. It tells you about each and every seasons uh, in the passage. And there are questions, questions on your textbook. textbook. So, dear parents, please help your children to do the questions uh, orally and try to check the answers and uh, give them corrections. And the other thing that we are going to discuss today is about comparison of adjectives. The grammar point. Comparison. Of students, I hope you are following me. So, comparison of adjectives, if you remember in your previous lessons, you have learned or you have taken so many lessons about adjectives. So, adjectives are, as you know, adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronouns. I hope you remember this. So, since adjectives are describing nouns, we can use them to compare things. Uh, we can use them to compare two things or more than two things. The word it says comparison. Comparison means comparing two things. It can be on the same quality or it can be in different quality. So, what are the degrees that we use to compare these uh, nouns or pronouns? There are three degrees, 
three degrees of adjectives that we are using to compare things. The first one is positive degree. Positive degree. Positive degree of adjective, we can use it when we are comparing two equal qualities. Don't forget this, please. Comparing equal. Equal quality. Or when there is no comparison. So, when you are comparing two equal things, that means, let me give you an example. My mom is as tall as my dad. Now, you compared your mom. Mm. My mom is as tall as my dad. Your mom and your dad is the subject here. You compared your mother with your, dad, your uh, father, but with the same quality. They are equal, equally tall. So when you are comparing equal to equal things, you can use positive degree. The second one is when there is no comparison. When you are not comparing anything. So like for example, my mom is tall. Now your mother is not compared with anyone else. So you are going to use a positive degree. This is the first degree. The second one is a comparative degree. Comparative degree. Comparative degree. When are we going to use this comparative degree? Uh, when we are comparing two unequal. You see the difference? This is unequal, but this one is with equal quality. When you are comparing two unequal things, then you are going to use a comparative degree. So, uh, how are these two, uh, two unequal things can be compared? Uh, the first one is there are very long adjectives, which means, if you remember, you have learned about syllables. So, uh, if a word or a noun has more than one syllable, then you are going to use more for the comparative degree. But if it, is, it has only one syllable, then you are going to use only er to at the end of the adjective. For example, my mom is taller than my dad. So here, the adjective is tall. I added er here. I compared my mother with my father. So I compared my mother and my father with an equal quality, an equal quality. Since tall is uh, with only one syllable, I added only er at the end of the adjective. But if I am using very long words like interesting, beautiful, attractive, attractive, beautiful, uh, and these th things, then I'm going to use more. Like, for example, uh, Hannah is more beautiful than her sister. So now look, beautiful is uh, more than one syllable word. Beauty Full. So it has two syllables. So I used more for comparing this Hannah with her sister. Again, I'm comparing Hannah with her sister with an equal quality. So this is when I'm we are going to use comparative degrees. The third one or the last one is going to be superlative degree. Superlative degree. So this superlative degree, when are we going to use it? If you remember, we said positive degree with equal quality, comparative degree with unequal quality. But here, positive, uh, superlative degree, we compare 